Why is Unibra going to be successful? Well, I think it's because Base Ledger is going to be a very, very important network. It's going to be the transition network that will help Web2 ecosystem to connect directly to Web3 ecosystem. But unfortunately, if you go to CoinMarketCap, all the tokens are down and Unibright is down 11% and is trading about 12 cents and has a market cap under 20 million. Don't forget, at some point it was trading above $4. So to get to that price, it's going to be even massive gains for you if you invest right now. But don't take my word for it and don't do it yet. Go out there, do your own research, and make sure you understand. If you don't, come here, ask questions, and I will take my time to try and explain things to you. Before we go back into Unibright and the ecosystem of the UBT token, well, let's talk about something else, right? Because adoption is the most important thing when it comes to every technology. If it's not adopted, if it's not used, over time, it will die. So blockchain needs adoption. And right now, it seems, if you look at CoinMarketCap, that things are going down, but it's the opposite behind the scene. Recently, we heard of Meta using Arwave and Polygon to make sure that they build their NFT ecosystem for the future. But not just that, Nike recently launched what it calls Swoosh or something. Well, it's the home for Nike's virtual creation and they feel like it's going to help a new community experience designed to give you the opportunity to co-create the future of Nike. Well, that is this. But ours here, our interest right now is in Base Ledger. If you come to Base Ledger, you will see everything happening in real time. So let's go to some of the partnerships that makes me feel the future is bright for Base Ledger and the UBT token. I think one of the most important partnership is with Concircle. It's really fascinating because of everything happening and how important it seems that Unibright and the base ledger is to coin circle because they are not hiding it it's directly on their website you can see the base ledger white paper and if you come here they have this written all over on their website so you have Unibright plays a major role in developing the baseline protocol which is an open source initiative that combines advances in cryptography messaging and blockchain to deliver secure and private business processes at low cost via a public blockchain acting as a middleware. Base Ledger is a public permissioned council governed blockchain network that fulfills the major requirements of enterprise organizations for participating in baseline enabled processes. A unified architecture ensuring service quality, data privacy, and integration. The, the fascinating thing is the partners they have. They have partnership with EY, they have partnership with um SAP with IBM with S17, which has also helped Unibright in getting use case for base ledger. So they have a lot going on. And here is Unibright, of course. And if you go to their clients, it has some massive names as well. ATNS, Bloom, Austrian, uh, and it has uh, Mondi, Sapi. Uh, I might not even pronounce them right, but these I looked them up, some of them, and they are really, really massive companies. So that's really, really big. S example is Sandvik is a huge company. Base, Base Ledger Minute, right? Four weeks after launch. The whole idea behind Base Ledger and baseline processes is to be a decentralized ecosystem for enterprises that want to have blockchain for their enterprise integration processes. It talks about five things here. So they want it to be reliable and secure from the tech side. They want a certain performance and transaction times that's important for speed. They want a predictable cost mechanism. They want tools to connect their systems. And last, they do not want anybody outside their work group being able to track how they are using base ledger. So that's important for privacy. And all of this is enabled and guaranteed by base ledger. And base ledger is powered by the UBT token. Uh, we say we just entered a phase of having a production ready enterprise blockchain, all powered by UBT. We are convinced Base Ledger will play a leading role in enterprise blockchain. And I agree with this as well. A connector on SAP is Con UBC, and they designed it, they built it with CoinCircle, like I said, an important partnership. And if you are unaware of SAP, or even if you have an idea, but maybe you haven't thought about it, well, here it is, right? It has over 22,000 partner companies globally. And this is the number that the connector is available for 
And although not all of them are going to use the connector, I feel like even if a small percentage of this number ends up using it, it's going to be massive for Unibright and it's going to be massive for the UBT token. There are other facts about SAP, like it's the number one software company in Dow Jones Sustainability Index for 15 years. Also, it has over 245 million plus subscribers in their cloud user base. And it's available in over 160 countries. I talked about this in my previous video about Unibright. And if you haven't watched the video yet, well, I will make sure I create a playlist and named it Unibright so that you can go out there and you can check it out on my uh, channel. I'll also put a link to that video in the description below. So it was a case study and it was about the usage of the baseline pattern at European Investment Fund. So the head of corporate strategic development at European Investment Fund had this to say about Unibright. We are pleased that Unibright have chosen to undertake this study at EIF. It can be expected to feed into our thinking as we consider design and technology aspects of the digital transformation of our business that we are embarking on. Part of the attraction of baselining for us is a simplicity and general application to repetitive multi-party workflows without replacing or influencing existing systems of record. And the fact that the data is of remain safeguarded and outside of the public domain. From this statement, we can understand that the simplicity, making sure that businesses don't need special talent and they don't need to change their existing system is very, very important to businesses. And also the privacy that base ledger presents is also important. If you have no idea what EIF or European Investment Fund is, well, it's part of the EIB, European Investment Bank, and is very, very massive. Unibright also has a similar partnership with um, SPO. It's similar to what they have with CoinCycle because SPO is a consulting company and is a, it's an SAP partner and is serving clients from medium size to Fortune 500. And the most interesting thing I saw is when I saw that Base Ledger is directly here on their website and it's available for businesses to just see, ask questions, and probably start using it. There are some features that you need to understand about Base Ledger if you didn't know before. It is low predictable cost, so fixed transaction cost, magnitudes lower than current public blockchains. Whenever the transaction cost is fixed and it can be budgeted for by businesses, it's very, very important because it needs to understand how much it has to spend and it has to be able to budget and make funds available for use. So guaranteed high performance, data compliance. Well, compliant with all areas of data protection regulations like GDPR and as an European company, it has to make sure it respects that. Built-in integration, existing off-chain systems like ERP systems can be connected automatically. Then we have multi-chain coordination. Processes using multiple chains like Ethereum or Bitcoin can be synced. You've probably already heard of uh, Microsoft Excel being baselined. Here I am being excited about Unibright because of how massive they are connected to these companies. It might not even be direct, but if the tools are there to be used by these companies, then over time it's going to be used. So let's hope and let's all support the community, spread the word. And if it ends up being used by these companies, the SAPs and the Microsofts and all these partnerships that might come in the future, then the token is going to be very, very successful. The token is going to be massive because at the end of the day, it's built directly to be used in the base ledger ecosystem. If you have questions, go to the Telegram. The guys there are very supportive. Here is Investor Vibe. If you have not subscribed yet, please take a moment, subscribe, hit on the notification bell. And let's see how base ledger can make all of us very rich in the future.